All right, today we have a 2000 Lincoln Town Car. The rear air suspension is all messed up. You can look at the car, you can see it's just completely sitting down on the, the rear air suspension. The customer is tired of putting money into the rear air suspension. Um, he's already replaced the bags. The uh, compressor's actually gone out now. So rather than continue dumping money in it, he just wants us to put our coil spring conversion kit in. Uh, we got the kit from autopartsdirecttu.com and it will permanently eliminate any hassles with the air ride system in this vehicle. So we'll get started. All right, we are under the vehicle now. Uh, you can see this is the old air spring. It just it wasn't holding any pressure anymore. Um, so we need to take that out. First thing we have to do, there is actually a clip up on the very top up here, which we get from the wheel well. Um, and then after we get that clip out, it comes out fairly simple. All right, we are under the wheel well right now. You can see inside this gap, this little gap here, is the top of the air spring. There is a metal clip, which if you can see right here, I'm wiggling it. That is the clip that holds the top of the air spring in. So all you have to do is get that clip off of there, and it's kind of just a big C-clip. You can usually just kind of push it back. And work it out. And that's what it, that's what it is. That's what holds the uh, top of the air spring sits in that little gap right there. And that just holds it straight up. That's all that holds the top of it in. Now we can go back under the vehicle and continue. Okay, we're back under the vehicle. We got the top clip disconnected. Our next step is to remove the air solenoid, which once you get the top clip disconnected, you can see here is the air solenoid. There's another little metal clip inside here. This one we're gonna need a screwdriver for. This clip right here just pops out. Just give it a little pry and you'll see it pop off. Don't lose it because you need that to put the new air solenoid or air spring back in. Okay. Once that clip is out, the solenoid itself, actually to give us a little bit of room, we're going to disconnect the bottom here first. Where the bottom of the air spring sits on the differential. It's just a clip in there. And this one is just uh, held in there by pressure. And if you just give it a nudge, it should pop it right out. That'll give us a little bit more free play with the air solenoid. Once you get that out, you turn it counterclockwise one notch and it'll stop. At that point, you pull it straight out, turn it counterclockwise again, and then the whole solenoid is removed. At this point, wow, the air spring comes out. You can see here, looking at the old air spring, all these cracks were causing it to leak. So this air spring was just completely done. Okay, we've got our old air springs out. Our next step is going to be to install the coil springs. We got our coil spring conversion kit from autopartsdirecttu.com. Uh, it comes with brand new coil springs meant to replace the air springs that used to sit in there, as well as the coil spring seats, which are going to fit on the top and the bottom of the coil spring. Um, so what we have to do is to remove the shock bolts so the differential can come down, and then we'll place our coil springs in and reinstall our shock bolts. So we'll show you how that's done right now. Okay, our next step is to remove the lower shock bolts. Um, Right here you can see is where the lower shock bolt is. That is what is holding the rear suspension at its point where it's at right now. So once we remove that, the rear suspension will drop down and give us enough room to install the new coil spring. Um, so now it's also a good idea to, to replace these shocks because the shocks and the coil springs work together. Um, so we highly recommend that you replace the shocks at the same time as the coil spring. Um, it just it keeps the life of everything great and keeps the car riding just like brand new. Uh, so right now we're going to go ahead and disconnect this lower shock bolt.
All right, we got our one shock nut off here. You can go ahead and, actually we're gonna leave it in for now while we take out the other shock nut. You'll be able to see it's starting to free up now. All right, we've got our other side shock pulled out. Now we can pull this side out. And with both the shocks free, you'll see that the suspension now has additional room to travel. Uh, that should give us enough room to get the coil spring in place. Uh, let's see, let's move our air solenoid out of the way. We'll just poke it up into the frame there. Now you can see up here the coil spring top is going to seat up here. Coil spring bottom is going to seat on the, the differential here. Now if you're converting from coil spring to air spring, you want to use this rubber isolator on the top one, but on the bottom one, you just put the spring right on the differential so you don't use it on the bottom. Um, but we'll put that on the coil spring, and so when it sits up on there, it'll have a nice rubberized cushion to sit on. On this particular coil spring, you'll see that the top, well, some of the coils are closer together. If you look at it, the top ones are closer together than the bottom ones. On this setup, you want the top coil springs, or I'm sorry, the tighter coil springs to go to the top. So what we're going to do, we're going to set our coil spring seat on the top there. And guide her up in place. We might need to get a pry bar. Let's pull down on the differential a little bit. And we will. So maybe we get a pry bar and we'll continue. All right, we've got our pry bar, so we're gonna try this again. We're gonna get this placed up here as best we can. Okay, with a little teamwork, we were able to get the spring in. We just had to jounce down on the differential and push it up in there at the same time. But now it's fully seated in there, and we'll do the same with the other side. And then all that's left is to uh, jack up the rear end so that the shock bolts will line up. So we'll go ahead and get that other side coil spring in. All right, now we're gonna get the other side coil spring in. We're gonna do the same thing, tie the coils at the top and the spring seat on top. This side. This side actually went in easier. So make sure it's all seated in there correctly. Okay, now we got our coil springs in place. All that's left to do, if we were replacing the shocks at this point, we'd go ahead and put our new shocks in. Um, our customer in particular does not want the new shocks, even though we highly recommend it. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just put the old shocks back in and lower it down and we should be good. So we'll first step with the uh, car still supported on the frame. We're gonna wanna get the jack underneath the differential to preload these springs. So let me grab the jack. All right, all we're gonna do is we're gonna put the jack right under here and just jack it up a little bit until this shock bolt lines back up, like so. Now we'll get our shock nut on there. Now when we release the jack, that shock's gonna hold that coil spring in there tight. You see now it's not going anywhere. So it's, it's good. We'll do the same with the other side. And lower the jack again. And we'll put, down, put our uh, wheels back on, lower the car down, and see how she sits. All right, we've got our uh, car sitting back down on its wheels. You can see now the uh, suspension is sitting back at its normal height. Uh, thanks to AutoPartsDirectU.com and the great price they got us on these springs, we were able to do this job for really cheap. Uh, you see, I mean, everything's back to working just like it should, and our job is complete. The customer can have a 